The new year is a chance for people to set new goals and plan resolutions. One of the most common is trying to live a healthier life, but health experts say there's a right, right way to go about it. WCI3's Jack Crum joins us in studio. Jack, how can people set themselves up for success? Yeah, Karina, healthy living is one of the more popular ones. However, not everyone really knows how to start. One OSF doctor I talked to is making sure people know the best way to better themselves in 2024. New Year's brings many aspirations for self-change. In particular, goals to become the healthiest version of yourself. Just ask Jesse Barnfield. I'm trying to go to the gym every day, and I'm going to try cutting out red meat for my diet um, because it's not really good for me. Some of them are long-term. That's the case for Dr. Philip Ovedia, a cardiothoracic surgeon at OSF in Urbana. His resolution started eight years ago. It began when he lost more than 100 pounds and reversed his pre-diabetes. I hope it can inspire them, and I hope it also can help them to realize that if a heart surgeon who had gone through medical school and all the training uh, got so unhealthy, you know, that I had reached the point that I was morbidly obese and pre-diabetic, um, that they shouldn't feel bad about themselves maybe getting to that same point. He says these health goals are great if you know how to start and maintain them. All of the ones that are successful really have one thing in common, and that is that they get people eating more whole, real food. I tell people we should eat the things that grow in the ground and eat the things that eat the things that grow in the ground. He says it's all about achieving all your New Year's resolutions and goals in a safe way that works for you. I don't really advise people to go on a diet. I advise people to adopt a system, a way of eating that's going to support their health in a sustainable manner. So I don't want people thinking about short-term goals. I only need to lose X amount of pounds. I want them to think about how can I eat to best support my health for my lifetime. The doc also told me that nearly 88% of U.S. adults aren't in optical metabolic health. This gives a large majority of the population room to grow, or in this case, shrink in 2024. Karina, back to you. All right, thanks, Jack.